We're actually going to uh, attempt to drop a turp pearl in here so it's going to look all cool. No guarantees, but I do think this is going to be pretty sick. What's up, everybody? YouTube's been really busting my balls about their community guidelines recently, so if you're under 18, fuck off. Thanks. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I want you guys to see some shit right now, man. What is this at? This this dab is at 500 degrees, a little bit less than that probably. And it's milking up like no other, bro. It doesn't even make sense. All right, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of expensive ass shit and another episode of I don't know how to wear a beanie. Um, I honestly like look this up. You're supposed to show like a little bit of your hair, but like I feel like it goes up too much. You know, like this is, this looks like a fucking sock on my head. Listen, bro, my hair's too long to do, all right? It's quarantine, bro. Give me a break. You already know that with expensive shit, hey, we gotta pay for it somehow, baby. Big shout out to Filter for sponsoring today's video. It's your personal pocket filter. I know a lot of your states are opening up right now. You're hitting the movies, you're hitting the fucking restaurants and whatever, and you wanna be able to hit your pens or your pods or whatever. In this case, we got a little bit of a slight little unreleased live resin sauce from Dr. Zodiac. So say you're in a restaurant, you wanna get medicated real quick? <sighs> Don't do that. You can do that. There's no smoke, there's no smell, you don't bother anyone around you. Even if you're not going outside, if you're still in quarantine, I know a lot of you guys are with family or with like pets or shit, you don't want any of those people getting the smoke in you. So this helps out, man. A little discount code on the screen for you. Make sure to check them out. Filter, baby. So this right here is a sapphire insert. It's very similar to other inserts that I'm sure you've seen used for dabbing before. The only difference is that those are quartz, just like what the actual banger is made out of, and this is sapphire. Now, if you don't know, sapphire is a precious gemstone, and it's the third hardest hardest material on the planet, right behind masonite and right behind diamonds. And in fact, this shit is such a hard material that it's actually the same thing that's in my watch right here. A lot of premium watchmakers will have that little face right there be sapphire because like I said, it's the third hardest material on the planet. That means only diamonds and masonite can scratch this. So I can bump this on some metal, I can bump it on a wooden table, on some little granite, you know, and knock on a table or whatever, it's never gonna scratch. Probably asking yourself, Eric, why the fuck would I wanna dab out of that? Like, what is the benefit of using this over something like quartz or if this is so beneficial then why don't you just step up to diamonds you know what i mean step your game up bro fuck sapphire dab out of some diamonds now that would be some baller ass shit but unfortunately diamonds actually don't retain heat that well so even if you had a pure diamond fucking insert like this you could heat it up and it just wouldn't you couldn't dab out of it sapphire on the other hand holds heat I don't want to say scientifically for a matter of fact or anything, but I feel like this thing holds heat for like twice as long as quartz does. Now the whole reason you take a temperature dab for the most part is for the flavor. And it used to be at one point in time that if you really wanted the full material, the full flavor, just the full effect of your terps that you were dabbing on, you'd have to dab on quartz super low temp, you would waste most of the dab, you'd have to reheat it, it wouldn't be that good anyway. But this changes the fucking game because you can dab at 500 degrees, at 450 degrees, at 550, where your terps aren't de degraded at all, right? It's not being burnt. You don't have that burnt tea feeling. You know how sometimes when you heat it up a little bit too much, your banger gets black and it just doesn't taste good? Obviously you get none of that, but you don't get the trade-off of not having any more vapor, bro. You saw that first hit, it milks, and we're about to take another one. Don't even worry about it, but there's something about how this retains heat and you just get the consistent flavor, that consistent dab the whole time. And also that comes with that, you get a length of dab. So like, I'm inhaling for like a minute or two straight off these fucking things, man. Like one little point one dab turns into like three or four inhales of good ass tasting material. And it's fucking, it's, you know what, let's just, let's just take a dab. All right, we're actually going to uh, attempt to drop a turp pearl in here so it's gonna look all cool. No guarantees, but I do think this is gonna be pretty sick. A lot of people ask me what the turp pearls actually do. This will probably give you a little bit better of a look at what they do, man. Basically, it spins around in there and it makes sure that uh, your turps get all around and not puddled up in one corner. All right, let's hope this works. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, 
Flavor is fucking unmatched, man. There's nothing like, I can't even describe, this is almost like jumping from titanium to quartz. You remember that when you were dabbing on titanium nails all hot as fuck, it just killed you? And then you made that jump to like a nice banger? This is almost like the next jump, bro. It's fucking nuts. Also super, super easy to clean. You don't even need any isopropyl alcohol or anything. You just get a regular Q-tip, you move it around a little bit, and um, damn near, after a couple swabs, it's looking almost brand new again. You have a little bit of a, uh, it's not chazzing, that's like burnt oil. You can heat clean the shit out of it or soak it in ISO. Easy fix, easy clean, it's gonna be looking brand new. So speaking of cleaning, this thing will actually never ever chaz either. You wanna know what a chaz is? I'm pretty sure some of you guys, most of you guys have seen it, maybe you don't know what it's called. This is a chazzed ass banger, bro. You see this right here? So this is for the most part like heat clean. This isn't anything that I can do, like this isn't dry oil or any burnt oil or anything. This is how it always looks. As you can see, kind of clear right here, but it's hazy, it's cloudy, it looks kind of gross right here. And how that happens, if you're wondering, it's uh, it's exactly like this. So when you take your dabs too hot, you're gonna get residue and reclaim and all that shit just burnt on the actual Oh, my food's done. So when you have the uh, burnt material like this and you try to heat clean it off, it pretty much just instantly chazzes the banger, which is unfortunate. This, on the other hand, there's something about this motherfucking material right here. It just never chazzes, baby. Something else that people will mention when you uh, start dabbing out of sapphire and stuff is that it's actually healthier to dab at lower temperatures. And this is 100% true. There's studies out there, scientifically proven, hard fact type shit, that when you dab cannabis concentrate at high enough of a temperature, there's actually carcinogens that are released and you're inhaling those carcinogens baby so long story short hot ass dabs cause cancer and i can only imagine what the fuck we were doing when we were dabbing hot dabs out of titanium and shit i probably took like at least a couple years off my life doing that bullshit so with all of that being said the flavor is incredible the hits are longer lasting it's healthier it looks badass it makes you conserve your concentrate a little bit more because the hits go longer with all of that being said is this shit worth $500 or $600 or whatever version you get? Fuck no. Listen, man, I am all for smoking experience. I smoke for a living damn near, but that's a that's a steep price, man. That's a lot of motherfucking money for something like that. That's like half my rent. That's a couple months of groceries, few months of groceries. That's fucking a whole lot of wax, like a half bowl of hash rosin or some shit. But at the same time, it can be argued that those things like, those things all run out. I gotta pay rent again. I'm gonna smoke all the hash, whatever. I guess as many times as you use this, bro, if this shit goes in jewelry, if this shit goes in like watches, if this goes in like crazy ass windows and buildings and stuff, this is gonna last you a lot longer than the other stuff. And I can imagine, you know, it's not, I mean, it's not too bad of an investment. You're not gonna make money, I don't think, off of it. But if you bought one, used it for a while, I don't think the value is gonna tank or anything off of it. You know what I mean? Like, it might just be, if you're really, really into your smoking shit, bro, okay? If you're dabbing every single day, multiple times a day, then it's probably worth it, but. I don't know, let's just take this other hit right now. One of my favorites right here, man. I fucking love this rig. Hang on, let's get a little bit of a close-up of it. We got the octopus. Look how much detail, man. The barnacles, all that work down there. Some more barnacles, yes sir. Big cheers on this one, fellas. <laughs> So that is going to be the video, man. These are fucking insane. I didn't mention it. I think I forgot to mention it, but these are uh, synthetic. This isn't real sapphire. If this was actual real, like naturally found sapphire, this thing would be a few racks easy, like thousands and thousands of dollars. But because it's synthetic, it's made in the lab. One, it's perfect, perfect conditions. There's no like flaws or anything in it. Second, it's a lot cheaper. 
It's not cheap by any means, but it's uh, it's at least a lot more affordable than this if this bitch was real. And it has the exact same um, properties, chemically at least, and physically actually. It's the literally exact same thing as Sapphire, but it's just man-made. That's gonna be the video. Make sure you guys drop a like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't, fuck you. I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you're new, comment, whatever, do all that bullshit. Let me know in the comments right now, all right? In your lifetime, do you think that you will ever spend $500 on an insert, no matter how much you smoke? I've said the answer is gonna be no for a lot of people, but hey, I know there's a lot of people that already smoke Sapphire on the channel, man. There's gonna be some people in the comments right now that are gonna be like, Brett, you just got put onto Sapphire. <laughs> I've been dabbing out of Sapphire since like 2016, bro. Like, you're new. I know, all right, I'm new to the heady shit. Sorry. Just wanna spread some cool shit, all right? Isn't this fucking shit crazy? I'm high as fuck. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.